morning. Welcome to 2021. This is my first video of 2021. And I'm sitting at a lake. I just finished a meditation. And I want to talk about the idea of inadequacy. Or the idea of I'm not enough. So when you have this idea that you're not enough, you feel this uh, internal inadequacy, this internal insecurity, your mind, the more motivated you are to fix it, at a low level of the egoic mind, so to say, the more you're gonna build layer upon layer upon layer upon layer of deeper egoic identity in order to fix whatever it is that you think is wrong with you. So, for example, if somebody thinks that they are not thin enough, right, Th their mind, if they really believe that, their mind can make them exercise to the point that they're thin to their liking, or it can never have a satisfaction point upon which it has its liking, and it'll go further and further and further, and she, she or he can become emaciated, right? Uh, it, that same line of thinking occurs in many people for many, many things, and for many people for many things at the same time. It could be... I don't have enough money. It could be I'm not good looking enough. It could be I'm not strong enough. It could be whatever. Now, we have to be intelligent about how we look at this because clearly there are situations in which you may not have enough money, you may not be strong enough or whatever. There many times is some basis to that line and level of thinking, but a lot of times there's not. And that's the thing that we have to be aware of. A lot of times we actually are just fine as we are. And this is not to say not to work towards bettering yourself. This is not to say to just completely and totally relax 100%. But it is to say to be able to touch into a point at which you are completely relaxed and then from that space be able to take action. That will be informed action. That will be a more enlightened action. I'm going to give you an example. A real life example, not theoretical this time. Roger Federer pro tennis player, greatest of all time, uh, very old now, 39, and uh, will still be competing this year at a very high level. He's still top five in the world. And um, he is and is and has been since he became dominant like 17 years ago, 18 years ago, never rushed on court or off court. You look at him, he's completely still. His mind is still. He's present at a deeper level than a fearful person. And as a result, he has a sort of a, first of all, he has an aura of intimidation, of invulnerability. But more important than that, he's able to just be fully focused and anticipate exactly where the ball's gonna go, run exactly the amount of steps, get to it, hit it, whatever. Do what he needs to do. And he's won a hundred and something professional tournaments. <laughs> and made 500 million dollars in the process or more than that because he gives so much of it away so his net worth is 500 at this point so basically when you are able to and now granted he's still human though he has moments of inadequacy and he's had tight matches against people like Nadal like Djokovic two other great professional tennis players in which he's had match point and he got tight and then he who got himself all the way to this point then just falters and just misses easy shots that no one should miss because he himself starts to think oh I can't do it I can't do it he gets he plays from a tight tense sense of doubt and he's lost he, I just watched a match the other day in Rome uh, 2006 he had two match points against Nadal blew both of them then he lost he's done this against Djokovic as well so by and large, 99%, he is very still and very calm. And that's the reason why he's been able to be so intelligent. Because when, you, when your egoic mind is not running with so much speed and so much vigor, a deeper intelligence is able to come into you. The intelligence of life itself, as Eckhart Tolle would say. A deeper intelligence that your rational mind can't calculate, it can't plan, it's not aware of. And that deeper intelligence moves you as you should be moving. Now, of course, every person 
is very deeply who has this inadequacy feeling. And by the way, like you might think you don't, and I can't say for sure, but you probably do in some ways. You have some ideas about yourself that I'm not enough, and then you try to fill it up, build it up with all sorts of stuff. And insofar as you're feeling like you're inadequate, me saying don't do those things, don't try to build yourself up, it won't resonate. You'll be like, what are you talking about? I need to build myself up. I am not enough. I need da-da-da, X, Y, Z. And that's fine, and I'm not trying to argue with that. What I am saying, though, is that if you're able to relax your mentalities, relax your tensions, just relax to the point that that I am not enough feeling simply subsides, then that deeper intelligence can shine forth and shine through you. And instead of you being someone who's obsessively focused about X, Y, and Z aspect about yourself, you can instead be present and actually do things in and of the world that are of greater significance, greater value that you can't necessarily see right now. And you yourself will sort of, you might not even know what's happening as this transformation occurs, but surely better things happen on the other end of it. And as you move along with it, you yourself will change in ways that you can't even plan or think of right now. And so you thinking you're not enough right now, as you actually change in better and better ways through, through this spiritual power, so to say, you'll be so much better <laughs> than you are now. But it's not through that I'm not good enough mentality. It's through the I am enough mentality, the I am enough mentality. When you say I am enough, I am enough, a deeper power comes in you, not something being spawned by inadequacy, weakness, fear, wanting. Something better and greater comes within you and you become so much better than you possibly could have been. Eckhart Tolle says you become less so that you can become more. What that more is, your ego can't tell you. Your ego doesn't know. Your ego is simply fearful. And then trying to cover up and defend against that fear and, and, and build yourself up in ego-based ways. You see? But it's like a mouse in one of those spinning wheels. which keeps on spinning, keeps on spinning with a little piece of cheese in front of it. It keeps running and running and running and running and running for the cheese. You know, that cheese will be mine, the cheese will be mine. It sees its right it's eye levels right in front of it. It wants that cheese so bad. It's running, 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 running. And as you can imagine, the mouse gets absolutely nowhere. The point is to simply, instead of going on the wheel like this, with a piece of cheese in front of you, step off the wheel and take one step to the cheese.